AFPV pilots. Smooth virus, call sign virus. Back again. Um, just wanted to do a quick update on what I've been working on the past few days. The weather kind of got really cold, and uh, so I actually haven't flown since October, so I've been working on my Z84 build. This is where we are so far. I put the stickers on a couple nights ago. Uh, threw a couple of my own stickers on there and the rest are from the kit as you can see I installed my U-Blox GPS GLONASS uh, unit did that last night just carved out some foam so it's all kind of flush in here I ran the cable so go ahead I already opened the canopy up um, so I've got the uh, Omnibus F3 mounted in here now, along with my ESC uh, servos are mounted up, and I've got a an XT60 connector soldered on here. Um, gonna do a little bit of wire tidying. Uh, this is actually the cable from the GPS that's gonna go into UART2, which is right there. So that's going to go in there. Um, at this point, uh, I just need to decide what kind of receiver, RC receiver, and video system I'm going to put in it. You know, my original plan was to put a, a FreeSky L9R on here and uh, 5.8 video. I may stick with a 5.8 video, but. You know, honestly, I'm thinking I'm better off uh, using another Easy UHF Nano receiver like I used in the C1 Chaser, because it's way smaller than that L9R is. I could mount that Easy UHF receiver inside here. If I have an L9R, I'm going to have to put it either here and carve some foam out, or out here on the wing, and then you got to mount the antennas up, and they're going to stick up into the uh, into the airstream. So, if I get the easy UHF antenna, I can get a dipole and just kind of carve out a little piece of foam and maybe a little bit for the dipole antenna and, you know, actually I'm probably better off putting that on this side um, and putting my VTX over here. So, that might be the way I go. Um, I need to check and see how much voltage I'm putting out. Uh, on the servos here you know what just for the sake of argument I'm gonna disconnect these just for now um, until I figure out how much voltage I'm putting out but it should be 5 volts I think um, that should be fine for the easy UHF when I hook it up I need to, um, I have an old 5.8 gigahertz VTX, but I don't know if it'll take a 5 volt input. I was looking at some 1.2 gigahertz video transmitters, but I need to figure out if those will take a 5 volt, because I think those are 12 volt. They need a 12 volt input, so... Anyway, still a lot of work to be done. I got to put the video camera in here. I've got a Runcam Micro Swift that I'm going to use for that. And of course, uh, VTX and receiver. And uh, then we can start thinking about flying it. And I haven't even mounted the. Uh, I, it turned out I'm, I lost these little clips that are supposed to go in here. But a very helpful user over in RC Groups is sending me some new ones so I should be good to go there let's flip this over real quick you can see I got a couple Emac servos uh, the middle gear ones mounted up in here ready to go so I've got quite a bit of work done let's uh, let's power it up just real quick so we'll just power this up real fast this is a 1300 1300 milliamp hour 4S battery. I got a couple of these. So it's all good. 
think the ESC is trying to go into programming mode because they don't have a receiver hooked up. But it doesn't emit any magic smoke, so uh, job well done <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. So anyway, uh, I'm going to try and wrap this up, this project up, uh, this holiday weekend with Thanksgiving coming up, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Might be able to get some flying in um, over the holiday or the weekend coming up. If the weather holds, I've had two weather washouts in a row, and I, the last time I flew was October 28th, so... I'd like to get some more flying time. I still have that experiment I want to do with the pit lab. Uh, with uh, I have a route programmed into my mini talent that I want to try and fly, but I need some uh, good weather to do that. So that's where we are. Um, oh, and I haven't got my uh, my ham radio call sign yet. I think if that doesn't show up tomorrow by lunchtime. Knowing how things go in, here in Washington, probably not going to happen this week uh, if it doesn't happen tomorrow morning. So, all right, uh, just checking in, and uh, we'll see you guys again soon. Have a good one.